Somebody's rolling? Oh, cool. Oh, uh, ah. Yeah, there you go. That's your intro right there. We're rolling. It is the uh, Can I Help You podcast. Dr. Craig Shoemaker here. And uh, we try to keep these things, as we talked about in the last episode, evergreen. But uh, considering what's going on these days, let's keep it current. And maybe people will tune in and, A, get some laughter, get some wisdom, get some inspiration. And, 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 and fight that boredom. Exactly. Yeah, that too. <laughs> I don't think boredom is at the top of the list of what we're fighting. But <laughs> we're fighting it's on the list. We're fighting unemployment. We're fighting uh, disease or viruses that are spreading. But uh, yeah, so welcome to the show. And uh, we have Bruce Jingles is here. And How are been, you? We've been trying to make this happen for quite a while. Yes, yes. But I went away and was doing some production work. And now now we're sealed down. Yeah. And you're one of the only people that would show up here. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. No, thanks for having me, man. I really appreciate <laughs> the it. The traffic, that's the good news, is now traffic is changed <laughs> in California. There's always a silver lining. Yeah. Yeah, it's like I, I live in the Ontario uh, area of California, uh, which is about normally... A three-hour trip. Oh, I've uh, made it many times playing the, uh, playing the, the mall. You know? Yes. The dream come true for us as comedians is play a mall. <laughs> I know. I don't I know, know how many times I drove by there going, someday I will play that outlet mall. <laughs> yeah, we never <laughs> shot there, but we'll play that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So, uh, yeah, and we're not playing these days. We're not doing comedy because it's been shut down. So here we are. And we're bored as hell. And then, <laughs> <laughs> the other, the other uh, thing that people don't talk about is I, I believe that uh, alcoholism and drug abuse will skyrocket because of everybody doing homeschooling now. Oh, I know. <laughs> I, know. I, I, said, I tweeted this morning, I've been exposed, you know. Uh, now my kids realize I'm an idiot. <laughs> you know, trying to homeschool. The, the jig is up! <laughs> it's up. Oh my God. He was doing algebra and I'm going, I just tried to go back to then. I wasn't good at it then. No. I, but I'm no. definitely not going to be good at it now. They have a whole different methodology on how they do a math equation. And I'm, and I'm just going, listen, I had Kent Griswold sitting next to me. That's how I did. <laughs> That's how I did my algebra. And he's not. He's still back east. So I have no idea. Maybe I should call Kent. Okay? Yeah. Maybe phone a friend. You know. Like, That's what I'm saying. Like, oh my god. You get god. stuck on something. You phone a friend. I think that might be a good idea. Uh, unfortunately, all my friends are locked up. <laughs> so pro phone privileges are done. So you don't have your Kent Griswold. No, no. When no. you were a kid, did you ever cheat on tests? They cheated off me. You were the guy. I was. I was a smart kid. Oh wow! So I, was, I, I, I would always <laughs> try to have my chair next to the smart ones. I could still list them, but you would be. You would be my guy. Yes, I would be. The, I would be the smart one. I was. Uh, I, I went to uh, went to school in the LA uh, Unified School District, and I was in the gifted program because I could spell, spell uh, encyclopedia. Oh my God! You, <laughs> That's I, how, how I spelled anti-disestablishmentarianism. I I didn't that didn't do me any good whatsoever. <laughs> they did. Oh, he lost. He, he lost out with that. Can you spell that gifted? No, no. <laughs> I was so proud of myself. I won the spelling bee, but then it all went downhill from there. <laughs> Ironically, because of drugs and alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. That, were you? That, that were you? Early, were you yeah. a, a, a drug and alcohol? I, yeah, I, I don't see you. It may, well, that's because I don't anymore. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Well, I'm mean, not on your list of who you're going to go out and, like, hey, Craig, and let's spark go get, one up with. Let's go get tanked up. Yeah, man, I just couldn't do that anymore. I, well, I certainly did at a very young age. I mean, literally. At what age did you start this? Uh, uh, I had cancer at 11. <laughs> and yeah, did, I, I, I thought it was a joke. No, I had cancer when I was 11. <laughs> and I was going through chemo and my dad... He said, "Here, this will help you." What kind of cancer did you have? At a week? I had a tumor. Uh, if you see, uh, there's a scar. Uh, yeah, I do see it. Yeah, right there's here. A scar on your face. Right, yeah. right by my left. Right, right. by my left. I just ear. thought that was plastic surgery. You thought it was a gang fight. You thought it was a gang fight. No, baby. I thought you wanted a chin, chin tuck. <laughs> it's, 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 it's where I live now. <laughs> part of this, this is part of Southern California. I don't assume it's a stabbing. I'm in Westlake Village for God's sake. Oh my I, I was God. about to ask you where you had it done. <laughs> where did you get your work? You're a very handsome man. <laughs> oh, I look like uh, Black Buddy Hackett. <laughs> <laughs> so, Maybe you should get a chin tuck then. <laughs> I, I think I'm I, 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 I too. Like, you're, you're doing the, the method that I have. Is you just grow a beard. Yeah. There's the illusion of a chin tuck. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's, exact, that's exactly what it is. It gives and, you a jawline. It's fantastic. That's well, the only good news. I shaved it off two weeks ago. Off, off? Off. Well, that's quite grizzly you got going on there. Yeah. In, in two weeks. Only here, not here. Yeah. Oh, not in the top. Oh, at the top on follically challenged. Remember, we are audio now. 
So you have to describe these things yes. to people. You don't just point. And, and I'm sorry. Is this your I, first podcast? No. Uh, <laughs> well, she said earlier that it was going to be video. <laughs> well, it is video. That's one th- method. And, uh, because now we want to have content up there. Uh-huh. Because people need to... This is their outlet now. They can't go to comedy clubs and see us. I know. That, 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 that's just weird. I, it is... That's the most surreal thing of all of this. You can't go to a movie. I just drove by my local movie theater, and there was no... Man, nothing was playing. It 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 looked like the White Album. (laughs) So all that was up there, this blank blank thing. I I said, you've got it. I've been going by this movie theater, going to this movie theater for many, many years, and now there's nothing going on. And they're still showing Long and Winding Road. Look at it. (laughs) Hey, speaking of music, maybe people can Google this for us. We don't have the live Facebook thing going. Yes. But uh, we have to settle something from before. I, uh, uh, somebody set a time, and uh, it made me think of a music, uh, of a song. And you, you're you the only one in this office that knew, <laughs> knew the song. You went right along with me. 445. See, I thought it was 1245. Because <laughs> I think of my parents. <laughs> I took my time. Because I felt so all alone. <laughs> <laughs> then you have the other guy comes in. Not far away. <laughs> yeah. I heard a funny sound. <laughs> and I don't see your face. <laughs> so, so I say, first of all, there was 1245. You say 445. I say it was the OJs. You said it was. I said it was the Whispers. The Whispers. Can we please look this up, okay? Corey, our producer. Uh, and games is, people play. The games people play. I believe it was the OJs, and I believe it was 1245. Maybe we can play it by the end of the episode and settle this That'd bet. That'd be kind of cool, because it's a great song. It, it just reminds me of great memories. You know, dry, when I was a kid driving with, with my parents, and my father, it was a, a big African-American father, you know, the big foot. You know, oh, he had the big daddy bass going? Yeah. Well, you do, too. Yeah, that's where I got it from. <laughs> you got it from him? Yeah. Maybe my father should have come around more. <laughs> Well, well, my dad is... left when I was born, so I, I was raised by all females. So maybe oh, really? my voice is higher than yours. What? It, it, it's screeching. Well, I, I don't screech. Unless <laughs> I'm doing Barney Fife or something like that. And, so. and I still say, by the way, you do do the best Barney Fife or Don Knotts in the business. <laughs> I don't know what good that does. I know because I always thought it'd be funny to do uh, a parody of Law and Order. Uh, I remember I talked to you about it a little so bit. So maybe we should do that video. Yeah. A parody of Law and Order and Barney Five comes in. Yeah, you know, Law I do the whole cast, though. Mayberry SVU. I got it. Right? And <laughs> it's so the, the plot is that okay. Opie gets touched. Oh, wow. And Andy ain't having none of it. Okay. <laughs> so he's had to start an investigation. Who touched him? Do, do we have that? There's a lot of suspects. There's a lot. Well, Ernest T. Bass? Ernest T. How'd he do? Uh, hey, uh, uh, Opie came visiting to my moonshine <laughs> area, Andy. <laughs> right. Howard Sprague. Uh, uh, gee, Andy, I don't think I touched your son. Who was also Ralph Mouse's dad. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and, so who else uh, you got? See, I know the whole cast. I know uh, the whole cast. Uh, and B. And B. I was touched, Andy. <laughs> and Floyd. Oh, 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 it came to the barbershop. <laughs> <laughs> see, work at his feelings, Andy. <laughs> see, he, 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 oh, Floyd was always creepy to me. Oh, I know. He's, he's very he's chomo-ish. Oh, he's my number one suspect. He's like, oh, Andy, Andy, <laughs> I saw Opie at the swimming hole. <laughs> He's wearing shorts. <laughs> and he's all wet and, wet and glistening. Oh, he's wearing shorts. <laughs> Daisy to cut off. Oh, yeah. He's, oh, 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 oh. I had to save. If I, had, if I wore those shorts, I'd, they'd be called boss hogs. <laughs> I was oh, oh, Opie's boss for the day. <laughs> fly, fly, fly. I have to fly. Come. You're going to have to come to my office, Lord. I don't like it none. I like it none. <laughs> Do, can you like the episodes of Andy Griffith when he gets pissed? Yeah. yeah. And, and he got real serious. Oh, yeah. And, and, he, and he got city-fied. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you're like, no, we ain't having that. Like when uh, the two uh, f- uh, vegetable sellers 
Yeah. Came to Maryberry and they intimidated Barney. Oh yes. Yeah, and then Andy had to put put a stop to it. Sometimes it got serious too when the criminals came to town and the kidnapping and stuff. It got a little serious there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, oh, and Andy would pull out the gun. Oh, you got know, one gun. <laughs> you would go up into the into the rifle area when you knew the rifle was coming. Oh, out, that, was, that was bad news for some criminals. No, there was there was hell was coming, <laughs> and, then, and his name was Andy Griffin. And then, and then and then Barney's on the roof, and all the guns fly off. <laughs> <the roof. laughs> He's there with Gomer. Uh, oh. They deputize Gomer. Now, now, oh, Shazam! Now, Gomer's the second suspect. Oh, right. Now, Gomer's the Gun. second suspect. Gomer! Gomer! <laughs> Gomer, the guns flew over the... I flew over the, the wall, Gomer! <laughs> it's like, if Gomer... Gomer would be the second sus to me, suspect to me because he touched Obi and go, Shazam! <laughs> <laughs> well, he did work at the filling station. Yeah, yeah, I'm feeling... <laughs> Yeah, I'm feeling something up. He's a feeling station. Where the hell did this interview go? Jeez, come on now. A Desi Lou production. I, this is supposed to be, can I help you? I don't know. Why, why we're helping people laugh. Yes. Hopefully they laughed at that if they have any idea what the hell we're talking about with that. Watch the show. Watch the show. Watch, please. You understand the references.